Hey guys, do it on a dime here. So this is a casual vlog style video to bring you how to make ice cream bread. It is exactly what it sounds like. Two ingredients, ice cream and flour. That is it. And it makes the most delicious loaf of bread of your life. I have seen recipes for this in a lot of different places online, like different life hack sites. But these are my tips and tricks for making the best ice cream bread possible. So this is how you do it. I'm gonna make you want it after watching this video. Don't blame me. So really and truly, all this recipe is is ice cream and flour. You also need a bread pan. I'm using a 10 inch bread pan, but you could use mini ones if you wanted. And a tip that I have is to make sure to use full fat ice cream. That's really important. The richer and better the ice cream is the better your recipe is gonna turn out I'm using moose tracks because it's basically the bomb and you also need self rising flour now if you don't have this I'm gonna have a recipe on my blog post the link is below to how you can use regular flour if you don't have self rising but I think self rising works the best so this recipe will be on my blog as well, but you need two cups of ice cream. Again, the richer the ice cream, the better. This works great with banana ice cream, moose tracks ice cream, strawberry ice cream. I personally like chocolate, so that's why I'm using this. And then you wanna let the ice cream completely melt. A tip is to take it outside and set it in the sun, especially if it's hot where you live, it'll melt in like five minutes, but you want it to be really liquidy. And then you're gonna add a cup and a half of the self-rising flour and mix it all in. Now you can add it little by little, but I just put it in all at once. And the consistency that you want is very dough-like. So if you kind of stretch it with your spoon, it has kind of like that moist, doughy consistency. That's gonna give you the best loaf of bread. Now you're gonna take your ice cream flour mixture and you're going to pour it into a greased bread pan. Mine is a 10 inch bread pan and that works really well I think for the amount that I'm using but you could pour this into like mini pans if you wanted to give these away as gifts. And that's what it's gonna look like. It's not gonna look like it fills up very much of the pan but that's okay because again, it's gonna rise when you put it in the oven. And you're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure you can stick a toothpick through it and when it comes out, it's gonna look like this super yummy and exactly like a regular loaf of bread. This stuff is the best. I think it's served best warm. You can take it out of the pan after like 10 minutes or so. And because this one is Moose Tracks ice cream, it's kind of got the little chocolate peanut buttery melty bits, which makes it all the better. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if you try this recipe or if you like to make ice cream bread. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. It's bread. It's really good. Bread. Yeah, it's bread, that's right. Can you give it a try? Mmm. That's good. Mm, yum. yum, yum is right. <laughs>